and epilepsy. It is a clinical case based scenario. A 25 year old female presents in her first pregnancy at 9 weeks. She has been diagnosed with epilepsy since the age of 5 years. She is currently taking Valproate 20 milligrams orally twice daily and has been taking it for the past 10 years. Our first question is, what are the risks of epilepsy for the pregnant mother and the fetus? Epilepsy is a condition produced by disordered electrical activity in the brain. There may be a change in the seizures during pregnancy and they may increase or decrease in frequency. The risks of epilepsy for mothers are related to uncontrolled seizures. If the mother's seizures are well controlled, her risk for the pregnancy remains low. The risk for the fetus is related to anti-epileptic drugs and uncontrolled seizures in the mother. There has been a higher loss rate in the first and second trimesters in mothers with epilepsy. Carbamazepine is a commonly used drug during epilepsy. However, rarely it may cause fetal harm when administered to pregnant women. Epidemiological data suggests an association between the use of this drug during pregnancy and congenital malformations which include spina bifida, developmental disorders, developmental delays based on neurobehavioral assessments and congenital anomalies. Valproic acid is also used to man manage epilepsy but it is associated with major congenital malformations, particularly neural tube defects. In addition, it can cause decreased intelligent quotient scores and neurodevelopmental disorders following in utero exposure. Other drugs for effective treatment of epilepsy are available but should be prescribed by the neurophysician. Our second question is, how will you manage the pregnant girl with epilepsy? A team consisting of obstetrician, pediatrician and neurophysician should monitor the patient regularly. The pediatrician's role is to counsel the couple and care for the delivery, the baby after delivery. On the first visit, the couple is counseled. The husband and family play an essential role during the pregnancy to ensure the pregnant girl does not participate in any activity that can put her at risk. They should also report urgently if they note any increase in seizure frequency. A clinical history is obtained to find out details of presenting complaint, history of presenting complaint, past medical history, history of treatment of epilepsy and patient's response to treatment, is the patient free from seizures currently? We should also take a history of the medications that have been taken up to date, the dose and the recent plasma levels of the drug, need for change of medication and urgent referral to neurophysician because of the fetal risk associated with these medications and to monitor the levels to ensure maintenance at the therapeutic levels. An early ultrasound is performed to confirm dates and exclude gynecological disorders. Routine antenatal investigations are ordered and laboratory testing is also done for baseline electrolytes creatinine, urea, thyroid stimulating hormone and liver function. Specialized ultrasound scanning 
is conducted to evaluate fetal anomalies. Strict monitoring of the pregnancy is required at frequent intervals. Planning of labor and delivery will depend on the progress of the pregnancy. There is an increased risk of induction of labor and the second stage of labor is facilitated and shortened to reduce stress for the mother. After the mother delivers, usually they are not allowed to breastfeed due to the risk of the anti-epileptic drugs being passed on to the baby. Patient should be watched carefully in the puerperial period to ensure that she remains stable. And she will need help with the baby. The couple should use a barrier method of contraception rather than any kind of drugs because of a higher rate of metabolism drugs may not be as effective in epileptic women. With this we come to the end of the video. The script for this video is in the description box below. If you like this video please like, subscribe, comment and share and press the bell icon to remain notified about upcoming videos. Thank you and goodbye.